What is up guys and girls, today's video will be a part 2 of my Gemini SEO secrets. Today we'll be going over some new features included in Gemini that you may not know is available. So included in Gemini is the ability to use Gemini across different apps. So if you head over to settings and then extensions, you'll be able to see a variety of different apps that Gemini can work with. So we can work with Google Flights, Google Hotels, Google Maps. Google Workspace and YouTube. Now, most of these are going to be useful just for your everyday personal use cases when it comes to finding flights, hotels, or finding places, or even going through your documents, such as your Gmail, your Drive, and your Docs, you'll be able to go through that information quickly using Gemini. So essentially, Gemini can connect with some of your external Google apps. But the most important extension, in my opinion, is the ability to connect YouTube to Gemini. So this opens a load of opportunities, especially SEO opportunities, to be able to research, find, and write articles based on YouTube videos or to be able to find trending ideas based on YouTube videos. So once the extension is on, then we can use it normally as we would use it in Gemini. So for example, I can tell it to use YouTube to do research or whatever prompts I want to use specifically for YouTube. For example, I can tell the AI to give me the best YouTube videos for the topic, and I've entered the topic, the best AI tools of 2024. And as you can see here, we are getting some popular YouTube videos for this specific topic. So let's say we wanted to work with these two um, videos. I can then tell it to first give me more information about each of these YouTube videos. So I then told it to extract the most relevant and important information from these two videos and to be in depth. And as you can see here, it was able to extract the, 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 the transcript and extract the top tools in which those videos use within um, those YouTube videos. So for both of these videos, what I can do now is now that I have more information to work with, I can tell the AI to create a blog post outline for um, a video topic on a similar idea using the information from these two blog posts. So the idea here is that we're doing research to find um, a keyword or topic which you're going after, then we're extracting information, and then we're going to take that information to create our own unique blog post using Gemini and YouTube. So here is the full outline in which we were able to get back. We get the title, the ultimate guide to AI tools, reshaping learning and productivity, an intro, section one, AI powered learning revolution, top AI learning tools, free tools, beyond the basics, considerations and cautions, a conclusion and additional notes. So I would say that this is a pretty good outline. Then we can simply tell the AI to write the full article using this outline. Okay, so I told it to simply write the full article, be in depth and include as much information as you can. This is the full article. It is about 800 words, which is not that bad. Of course, if you want to get a longer article, you can tell it to write the introduction first, then write section one, then section two individually. And usually you're able to get a much longer article. I can then go ahead and double check the responses using Google. Let's go ahead and quickly do so to see how accurate or up to date this information is. Okay, so it says most of the information is correct. Anything that's yellow may need to be checked again. So for example, this, um, blurb may need to be checked again, but for the most part, everything seems to check out and to be good. We can also search related topics using Google. So that's the first way in which we can use YouTube and Gemini. We can find ideas for topics in which we like to write about, extract information, use that information to write a unique article on that topic. The second way in which we can use YouTube and Gemini is to find trending ideas or topics within our niche. YouTube is the second largest search engine, so of course, you'll be able to find some very unique ideas that you can then write a blog post on and find some opportunities that maybe your competitors aren't writing about. So for example, I've told the AI that I want you to find trendy YouTube video topics for the niche in which I'm in, which is backpacking. So it went ahead and it gave me some ideas that YouTubers are creating within this niche. So for example, logistics and planning focus, we get ultra specific destination guides. So go deep into one specific backpacking location, discuss essential gear, permits, trail variations, safety, wildlife concerns, and so on. So instead of giving general advice on how to travel around Asia, you give advice specifically for one country in Asia. Budget backpacking 101, focus on money saving strategies, packing like a pro, how to pack um, lightly, trail tale stories, so funny mishaps, unexpected encounters, or challenges when you're going on a trail, trail recipes and camp cooking, that could be a good one, first time backpacking disasters, gear and techniques um, beyond the top 10 skills tutorials and then we see some trends here so rise of lightweight ultralight 
van life overlanding crossovers and leave no trace ethics so sustainable travel so again you get some really good ideas here in which you can use or you can find inspiration from to write an article about and you can then combine this strategy with the first strategy and then ask the ai to give you more information on let's say packing like a pro right we can ask it for more information on this specific topic and then we can use that information to write a blog post for example, I've asked the AI to give me more information. And as you can see, we get a decent amount of information here. And then we can use this and turn this into a blog post. Another variation of this strategy is you can actually go ahead and paste in specific YouTube videos and you can ask the AI to extract the transcript of the video. Now, it doesn't actually give you every single word of the video, but it will give you a summary of um, those videos. So again, you can do this um, for a couple of different competitors. Let's say if you wanted to rank for a keyword, you paste in a couple of top ranked YouTube videos for that keyword. Then you get a summary or a transcript, use that information to then write a unique blog post. So those are some ways in which you can use the YouTube extension to write SEO optimized content. Before we conclude today's video, I wanted to do a quick test on the article that we generated using Gemini. So this is the full article that we generated. Let's go ahead and do a quick test to test the AI detection rates. And we'll also go ahead and test the plagiarism rates of the content. So let's go ahead and scan on originality.ai. Unfortunately, Gemini doesn't really pass AI detection. It is only 2% original and 98% AI. In terms of plagiarism, it is plagiarism free. In terms of readability, it has a pretty decent score of 46.3. So those are some ways in which you can use Gemini and connect it with YouTube to write SEO optimized content. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.